We're here in Landover, Maryland for this matchup between the Giants and the Redskins. Well, Jim, when you talk about the Giants and the Redskins, so many memories come to your mind right away. Uh, all the success both franchises have had, the Super Bowls they have won, and I think this game today is going to be exciting because of that history and the players know it's special. You know, when you were playing for the Giants, this always was a very important game as to, like, which team's going to go on to the playoffs. It didn't happen twice a year, of course. Yeah, and I think it's a, there's no difference this year. They're both very good and outstanding football teams. And if you win this rivalry, if you haven't won it twice during one year, you know you have a great chance of making it to playoffs and have... success after that. Offense lines up here. First and ten. The handoff. Running behind the tackle. Going to be a tackle for a loss. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. And here we have second down. Well, that's good enough for the first down, their first of the day. Well, that was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. A tackle behind the line. Terrible call that time by the coach. The defense was expecting run. They were up there. They were aggressive. Crowd the line of scrimmage. And you just, you just played right into their hands, and they got the tackle for the loss. David Wilson lined up in the backfield. It's a second and 13. Reaches out and snatches it. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Well, you work all week long on a game plan if you're the offensive coordinator, and you come right out, and it works. Yeah, it gives you a lot of confidence, does it? Makes the offensive players, they feel good about what's going on, and it gives confidence to that play caller. That's just as important. David Wilson with a nice piece of running on that play. It didn't take long, but they're already in scoring territory inside the red zone. Yeah, they're making it look easy, aren't they, so far? But you've got to be alert on the defensive side right now because this offense loves to go for the touchdown once they get into the red zone. Has it. Touchdown. The fade route, it's a big part of every offense now in the NFL. We see it here. Look at the receiver. Pins the defender inside. Beautiful throw to the outside. Fade for a touchdown. An extra point is good. Giants ready to kick it away. going to be taken down well short of the 20. Let's mark him at the 15. Moss is in the slot. First and 10. 
looking to the right side and throwing. Complete. Tackles made. When you play man-to-man -man against this receiver, you're going to have a tough time. Quarterback's a good thrower. Really hard for a defensive back to stay with him. First and ten. He'll throw it over the middle. Pass is made, and it's incomplete. The hit jars the ball out. Coming up, second down. Griffin in the shotgun formation. That pass was hurried. The Giants come out in the nickel. Third and ten. He'll fire it out to the left. Makes the catch in the open field. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield. Punt the football. Nickel formation for the defense here. Griffin's going to keep the football on the quarterback sneak. Show me a team that can pick up the quarterback sneaks on fourth and short, and I'll, I'll show you a team that has a good center and two good guards. They get a good push inside, and the quarterback is able to get the first down. Moss is lined up now as a slot receiver. Now first and ten. Challenging the defenders to the right side, incomplete, almost intercepted. Too much pressure on the quarterback on that play, Phil. Oh, that defense, boy, oh boy, are they aggressive, and they can get after the quarterback. We saw it on that play. This is going to be a tough assignment for this offensive line today. Of course, a year ago, the Redskins went out. They got Robert Griffin. They had Alfred Morris. What a surprise, but... They finally appear to have the coach that's ready to take the Redskins back to their old glory days in Mike Shanahan. Yeah, Jim, Mike Shanahan did a terrific job last year in Washington without question. First off, they had salary cap problems, so they couldn't go out and really sign some of the free agents they wanted. Two of their best defensive players were hurt and missed almost the whole year, and somehow they found a way to win the NFC East and get in the playoffs. That was a terrific job. Well, Mike Shanahan had got him back to the playoffs, and it was in the playoffs where Robert Griffin re-injured that knee, leaving a lot of people questioning about what the Redskins were doing there. Yeah, everybody's a genius after the fact, and I didn't hear anybody complaining when Robert Griffin III helped him get to the playoffs late in the year. I didn't hear him complaining when the uh, Washington Redskins were winning that playoff game against the Seattle Seahawks. So looking back, we always could be smarter, but I think the decisions he made, he made what he thought was best for Robert Griffin III and the football team. Offense lines up here. Robert Griffin III from the shotgun. Throws to the right. That catch gives them a first down. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Can the defense make a stop? They bent a lot here in this drive. They had the offense backed up. They let them march down the field. Now you're in the red zone. Make the right call and stop them. That is play number 10 on this drive. First and 10. 
running away from the pressure. Incompletion on that hurry throw. It's not all about speed at the quarterback position, running away from trouble. You're able to take a couple steps up, a couple steps sideways, get that extra time, avoid the sack, and still throw the football. Mounting a serious drive. Griffin's going to take the snap from the shotgun. As much as these guys practice during the offseason, training camp, during the week, you think receivers and quarterbacks would always be on the same page. That time they were not, and it's another incomplete pass. Play after play after play here on this drive. They better hurry to get the snap. They're going to get him this time. Nice job that time by the defense getting the sack. The blitz was well-timed, and when it's well-timed, the offense doesn't have time to react, and they get a good sack. Looking for an open receiver on the right. That's a missed opportunity, and now they'll have to bring out the defense. Man, you got to be smarter than that. You can't go for it every single time on fourth and long. There is a thing they have in the NFL. It's called a punt. Do it more often. And Cruz is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Eli Manning takes it from the gun. He's looking long. And he's intercepted. They bring him to the turn. I have to say, that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. The quarterback is coming to the line hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. First and ten. And Morris has got it on the handoff. Well, the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. And Morris is in the backfield. Single back set. Second and twelve. Going to take off with it. RG3's pass was targeted to Pierre Garçon. The defense has really done a good job here in this drive. They got this offense in a third and long situation. Let's see if they can convert it. The pass play fails to work, and now it's third down. going to be tackled and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Garcon's a receiver in the slot into the open flat, brings it into his body. I just don't think that's a good job by the defense. It's fourth and short. You kind of know what the offense is going to do. They were not ready, and they give up the first down. After the long game, let's see what they do here. And Morris is handed the football. You've got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. From the red zone. 15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. And we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. RG3 has it under center. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. 
wide open for the catch. Steps out of bounds. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. And Morris, can he? Takes it across. It is a touchdown. You got to give the offensive line just a lot of credit. It's first and goal. They just line up and power the football in there. Nice run, but a great job by the O-line. The Giants prepared to return the kickoff. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. On first down. David Wilson gets the handoff. Now slashing to the right side, looking for room. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. To the line after picking up over 70 yards on the last play. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. the incomplete pass it brings up second down touchdown. Giants touchdown tight ends are so valuable down on the goal line they're able to maneuver inside easy to get defenders to run into each other uh, to get open to score the Giants getting set for the extra point no it's not it's a fake so put down a touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. They executed the play perfectly, and they got in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. The Redskins ready to return the kick. past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Hey, man, 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 man. Setting up in the pistol on this play. First and 10. RG3 going down the field. Oh, and almost picked off that time. Outstanding coverage on the deep throw, forcing the incompletion. That's why he's one of the best in the league. He's aggressive. He can take away short passes, but also has the speed and the ability to get back there and knock down those deep ones, too. Offense lines up here. It's a second and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Good for 21 yards. 
Sometimes the receiver just has to make a great catch. That's what happened on that play. Here's the first snap after the big play. In trouble now. And here he goes. He stepped out. No surprise to see Robert Griffin use his legs and pick up yardage there. No surprise there, Jim. Robert Griffin III has true track speed. Listen, this guy ran track in college. You've got to keep your eyes on him all the time. First down here. And Morris is taking the handoff. And he is tackled down at the 38-yard line. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. Handoff to the pack. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. One Good coaching on the defensive on the side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Alfred Morris lined up in the backfield. We approach the midway point of the second quarter, and here we go with another snap. Rocks him with that hit, and the ball's going to fall incomplete. That's why you like defenders who are good, punishing tacklers. Make those receivers worry about coming over the middle. They'll be careful the rest of this game because of that big hit. The Redskins will go with the pistol on this play. Defense calls a timeout. The Redskins in the pistol. Griffin's got it in the gun. Gets away from the pressure. Bad play call that time by the defensive coordinator. It's fourth and short. There's only a couple plays you know the offense is going to run. They were not ready, and they give up a big first down. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Quarterback drops back. Play action. He's brought down. Nice job by the quarterback. Finding the open guy short. They get the completion. They still do not get the first down, though. The Redskins lined up in the pistol. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Tackled at the 13. Half time is coming up, but first we reach the two minute warning. Alfred Morris lined up in the backfield. First and 10. Looking to scramble. Pierre Paul gets to the quarterback. Of course, when you get blindsided, especially nowadays in this league where they do everything they can to make sure that quarterback doesn't get hit, that's devastating to take that kind of hit. He'll fire it out to the left. Touchdown and drawing close. Well, Jim, it's almost impossible to guard these guys nowadays as they go down the field. These wide receivers, they have feet like ballerinas. And even though you get tight coverage, they're so quick, they can get open and make the catches.
lining up now for the two-point conversion. Getting away from the pressure. Could have taken the one-point gimme. They went for the two, and they are turned away. Redskins ready for action. He's got a chance to return this one. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. First down, looking to the right side and throwing. He's in the clear, the 40, the 30. D'Angelo Hall makes the hit. Jim, what a nice throw by the quarterback. Puts the football right in the hands of the wide receiver. He's behind the defense, but look at the hustle and the speed by the defense. They get the tackle from behind. And Cruz is lined up in the slot. Manning's looking to go down the field here, but it's incomplete. And Cruz is in the slot. Challenging the defenders to the right side. What a catch. Touchdown. Nice throw by the quarterback that time. Put it right on the money. Not a big window. It doesn't matter to him today. Great control of the football. Put it right in there for the touchdown. Add the extra point. The kick is good. Josh Brown about to boot it down the field. Jarred loose. A huge turn of events. The ball's going back the other way. This game is still about hitting. When you hit the other team hard enough, that football comes loose. Nice job by the kicking team. They make the hit, and they recover the fumble. Great job. It's first down as they head to the line. The throw to the left. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. Does it take talent to do something like this? You've got a time to pass where the football's going, where the receiver's going to catch it and do the perfect timing. Hit that receiver, and that football comes flying out. Nice job that time. Incomplete pass. Second down and 10. Throws to the right. Ball slipped out of his hands. These receivers in the NFL, they are so good now. Anytime you see a drop pass, it's almost always the one reason. They took their eyes off the football before it got there. The Redskins with two extra defensive backs in the dime. It'll be a third and ten. And that's going to be a three and out. I think this is one of the easier throws in the NFL. Don't make the mistake throwing it up the field. Throw it across the field so the receiver can run to it. That time, the quarterback leads the receiver way too far on the post route. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Failed to pick up the first down, and they'll give the ball back to the other side. Well, that's four plays and out for the offense, and that was bad. Bad play calling, bad play, bad execution. Go to the bench and try to rethink what you're doing. Alfred Morris lined up in the backfield. First and ten. Looking for an open receiver on the right. The Redskins now move the chains. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. Three. 
reads. Usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. First down and 10. Working that left side. Has the reception all alone. When you can throw it out right like that, that shows you the strength of quarterback's arm. This will be second down. RG3 from the gun. He wants to go deep. Interception. Nice tackle. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. First down here. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Tackle down at the 46-yard line. The Giants have to call one right here, and they do, and they are out of timeouts. This play set up by the long gainer. He's intercepted. And he's brought to the ground. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. They face first down. Griffin standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. A lot on this throw, and Santana Moss brings it in. When you see defenses playing man-to-man -man coverage, what they are seeing, we are going to force the quarterback to make an accurate throw. Well, that time, that was accurate. That's why they got the completion. First down, following the long play. Griffin in the shotgun formation. Looking to the right side and throwing. Sticks to his hands. Anytime you get in the red zone, you want to punch it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today. They're down more than seven. But don't worry about it. Score here and just keep going. He gets blocked. Well, next week they might be trying kickers out when they go home because they did not expect to miss that field goal. It comes up way short. We're back here now in this one where the Giants are leading by nine. Now in first down. And now here's the first snap of the second half. RG3 going down. Ball's picked off. Good piece of tackling. Jim, this defense is just attacking today. They got the offense backed up. They go after them. They're aggressive. And what does it do for them? It gets them an interception inside the opponent's 20-yard line. First down coming up. They give it to the running back. Trying the right side. Spins out of the defender's clutches. Well, the long run that time, and there's a lot of reasons why they got that long run. But the, the biggest one, the good blocking up front, but what patience for the running back. He did not panic because it took it a while for that running lane to develop. When it did, he saw it, he hit it, and he used his talents to get down the field for the big game. When you see this cover two defense as a quarterback, you got to know where to throw the football. That time, he did not make a good decision. you got to throw it sometimes deep down the middle. The safeties are not there. They're outside. He did not take advantage of that coverage that time. And the hit by Arakpo. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Got what he wanted. Touchdown. Something you always got to be alert for nowadays in the NFL. The fade route, the defense caught off guard just a little bit. Nice throw, nice touchdown. The Giants now will tack on the extra point. Driving extra point is good. Giants ready to kick it away.
bringing the play to an end. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Griffins back in shotgun formation. RG3 going down the field. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. Lined up in the pistol formation. Robert Griffin III from the shotgun. Brought down by Jason Pierre-Paul. Well, if your offensive line's not good enough just to stop the pass rush, then you got to help them out. How do you do that? Well, you keep the tight end in, let him be an extra blocker, and you tell your running backs to help out, too, blocking some of these defensive linemen. Second and 11, challenging the defenders to the right side, and almost picked off. You are not going to be an accurate quarterback, of course, when you're under this kind of this kind of pressure. Doesn't even have time to set his feet. Another throw offline. After the incomplete pass, it's third down. Griffin's going to take it from the gun. Throws to the right. And he's out of bounds. When you have a quarterback that can throw the football like this guy, even though it's third and 10-plus yards, he makes a nice throw for the first down. So the coach's challenge backfires. They'll lose the timeout and they fail to overturn the call on the field. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Here's the running play. Off tackle. Tackled at the 18. Good job by the offense. They're in the red zone. They're down by more than seven. But the defense, can you stop them and just give up the field goal try? New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Trying to make something happen. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show them something different here and keep them from scoring a touchdown? First down, offense readying for the snap. Running back gets it on the handoff. Holds him to seven. Well, that last play almost got him in here. And when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of a lot of different scenarios. You can do a play action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. Going to lose yards here. Jim, when you get inside the other team's red zone, inside the 20-yard line, and you're down some points, you're thinking touchdown in these situations. Third and goal from the six. Play action. He's scrambling now, looking for an open receiver on the right. As good as it gets. Touchdown. That's a nice touchdown there. And you're chipping away at that lead. Try to get into the minds of the opponent. Will they get tight? Can you hear the word choke? Yeah, I think they could be choking over there on the other side. Look out. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history. Got a touchdown, got a two-point conversion. People love to go for two in this game, don't they? Well, they do, and you know what? Now, I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. The onside kick is turned away, and the receiving team has it. First down on the way. Screen. He has the grab. Good for 18. That's a nice play that time by the offense, getting the first down. They're up here in the second half, and they're moving the football. That is a great feeling. And Cruz is lined up now as a slot receiver.
First and ten. Setting up screen. Inhales the pass. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. down after that pass play he's handed to the running back well this defense all over that play they tackled the runner for a loss now we're going to have third long advantage goes to the defense is out incomplete on a deep ball the pass interference call it's as good as a completion right now yeah that's right one of the reasons why you throw the football deep in the nfl it can be caught it can go incomplete or you get pass interference very seldom is that pass intercepted First down here after the completion. Brown's going to take the handoff now. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Second down coming up. That was a nice job that time by the offense driving down for the touchdown to increase their lead. That really takes a lot of pressure off their defense. They'll get set looking to convert on this two-point try. Breaks the tackle. And they will not convert here on the two-point conversion. Good stand by the defense. They're lining up for the onside kick. They want to get the ball back. The receiving team has the recovery. On first down. is strictly on the quarterback when you make bad decisions I don't care how good you can throw the football the results usually it's going to turn into an interception loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime in on the stop well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. 15 minutes to go, and we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. Giants line up in the pistol offense. Final quarter underway now with this snap. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Brown's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Leave it, leave it. 
second and 11. They feed the running back. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they moving in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. The Giants will approach this play from out of the pistol. They deck them in the backfield. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. The Giants come out in the pistol. Second and long. Going across the middle, that pass play picks up a first down. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. That reception gave them the first down. Brown's got it on the handoff. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. So many things you could do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Second down and 12, throws the pass. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Nice job by the quarterback. Nobody open down the field. He throws it short. It does not get a first down, but it sure makes third down a lot easier. that left side he brings it in here and he's got the first I like this play call this time they go for it on fourth and short and they call the right play and they pick up the first down two minutes to go before this one's in the books This has been a long drive so far. Counter run here. This has been a nice little drive by the offense. It started out in bad field position. Look at them now inside the red zone. Let's see if they can pay it off. Let's see how they back up the big play here. and goal trying to work that left side 
Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is, I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Running to his right. Giants in the end zone. Well, that touchdown just put the icing on the kick, Jim. Whatever you want to say, because now the lead's too big. Not enough time for the other team to come back. Great job by the offense. The Giants getting set for the extra point. And it's a fake. How much does this sting? They get the touchdown, but Bill, they fail to get the two. Jim, I think it takes a lot away from the football team. It was a terrible decision. Now we'll find out if that one point comes back to Hanum. The Redskins ready to return the kick. down here knocked away good job by the cornerback reading the wide receiver he is all over him and it makes it easy for him to swat down the throw by the QB He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. The well, RG3 is not one of these quarterbacks who scrambles just to pick up a first down. When he gets out of the pocket, he has the speed. It is real big time track speed, and he can take it all the way if you give him a chance. Griffin's gonna take the snap from the shotgun, escaping the pressure. Breaks free. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Well, good job that time by the defense. Getting pressure on the quarterback, but you can't let him break the pocket. Look at this time. He breaks the pocket. He's looking down the field. Nobody open, so he decides to run and picks up some big yards. And they can't connect. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against his cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. The Redskins will go with the pistol on this play. And the tackle is made right around the 39-yard line. Coach is going to hear about this when the game is over. Running the football in a situation like this, late in the game, you're down multiple scores. You've got to take some chances. You've got to throw it, and you've got to throw it down the field. Griffin hits Santana Moss. The Redskins decide to take a timeout here, leaving them with only one. They've got a first down now after that catch. Griffin's got it in the gun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Tackle by Antrell Roll. Here they are inside the 20, and they keep hope alive. Yeah, they've done that. Now they got to do the hard part. When you get to this, this part of the field in the red zone, we know the defense is not touchdown. Washington. What a tremendous throw by the quarterback that time for the touchdown. What confidence he has in that arm. Small window, very little room to throw that football in there. He didn't worry about it, fired it, got the touchdown. They want the football back as they line up now in an onside kick formation. That 
kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. Browns lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. That ball was going the other way. They count on it there. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. Setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. First and ten. Looking to the right side and throwing. He steps out. That's going to do it here in this one. 